welcome to this Stateless Code cast. This is episode number three in our series, statelesscode.com WordPress. So in our last episode, we set up the local development environment and got to the point where we actually were able to, uh, let's see if we can get back to our, I must have gotten rid of it. So go back to our dashboard here. So we've got our, our hello world version of this up and running. And since I'm gonna be trying to do some stuff related to themes, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to download and install the WP test um, data set so that I can have realistic um, realistic data that I can um, operate on as I'm setting up um, and working on themes. So that's what we're gonna do here. So if you go to the, the GitHub section, um, it provides you information on how to download the data, which I'll do now. And then unzip the data download. I'm just gonna create a new directory here. And then copy. Need two arguments to copy. So got this folder now. We'll go to the next step here, launch the WordPress site. Which we've got here. sure I'm getting the right one here. Oh boy, it looks like we might have some abandonware from automatic on this. Uh, and when we get into themes, that unfortunately seems to be uh, something that happens uh, more often than it should. But um, let me see if I can there might be an issue. Let's see. All right, so I'll give it a shot here, but we might need to to punt. All right, it looks like it's at least still installable. All right, it's activated. Let's see. We can continue on and get some data in here. It doesn't need to be perfect modern data, but it needs to be at least decent data. Got that. So we've got the import tool here now. Do 
choose the file. All right, let's take a look at the documentation. Don't modify the authors. Make sure to click the download and import file attachments box. Pause and let this happen. All right, so I've got, there are a couple of warnings, but we did get the all done, have fun. Here. All right, so we've got a bunch of data in here now. So that gives us some test and seed data to, um, to operate upon. The other thing that I'm going to at least provide an introduction to is uh, what we're using as a, um, as a framework for developing our uh, our theme here. So um, in the setting up a development environment and uh, theme development examples, um, they recommend using the underscore S theme here from automatic. As you can see here, the last time that this was updated was in uh, September of 2020. If you go to the um, the JavaScript it's using jQuery, which isn't ideal. There are a bunch of open issues, a bunch of open pull requests that have not been, uh, none of them have been merged or operated upon since um, middle of 2020. So, or September 14th, 2020, which is over a year ago as of the writing of this. So I'm going to I think use Sage from Roots as an example here. In addition to it being um, actively worked on and maintained, uh, latest pull request into master was eight days ago. Uh, it uses the, the MIT license, which um, is a, um, a big um, advantage. So I, I really don't like GPL2. Um, it is they say it's free as in speech, but it's free as in speech as long as you say exactly what you want, <laughs> what we want you to say. Um, so, as um, the other things that I do, I typically I use unlicensed and dual license it under MIT. So that's what I'll wind up doing when I fork this here. So um, the uh, requirements here. So composer is going to be a requirement node i've already got yarn i've already got um so uh, composer is going to be the other thing that i install in this video um we'll get that up and running and then we'll pick up in actually trying to set this up in the the next video but um i'll pause and read the documentation here all right so it looks like i can install it to a local directory and then move it to uh, user local bin and then uh, make sure the permissions work and then kind of have a global install of it. 
So go back. Verified. Composer setup. All right. Now let's take a look at what we've got here. So this is the composer dot bar item here. So let me make sure that We don't have uh, something else in our uh, path that matches that. Try it again. Getting started, let me just take a look at this. All right, so you can, um, like I, I just read a couple of the documentations about installing and getting started here. So uh, it looks like Composer is, from what I can tell, similar to how um, it says it right in the um, the idea here. It, it, it's inspired by NPM and Ruby's bundler, so I've got a lot of familiarity with um, with both of those. So it shouldn't be that difficult to uh, to get going. So we've got WordPress, we've got BHP, we've got Composer, we've got Node, we've got Yarn. So. Looks like I can let me see if I can at least um, get that going. back one item here and then I do want dev master here so I will live out on the bleeding edge Let's re really um, spell stateless correctly. All 
All right, so I think we've got our our hello world level version of this based on the um, the master version of Sage, and we'll stop there and try to pick up with this in the next video. Thanks for watching this Stateless Codecast. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and spread the word. You can follow us on social media at Stateless Code. Until next time, keep coding, and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.